all of this talk of Brexit. It was the stupid, uneducated people who ruined it for everybody. It was the old white people who hate immigrants who ruined it for everybody else. It was this economic class who ruined it for this economic class and this age group who ruined it for this age group. It's political bias and media bullcrap all over the place that's just dividing people on the issues. At the end of the day, it's all distractions. Something happens in the world and the media tells us who we should hate, how we should react to something, what we should be talking about. The media that's owned by the elite. And I know it might seem scary, it might seem uncertain, we don't know what's gonna happen in the future, but when have we ever known exactly what's gonna happen in the future? The fear in the media is only making matters worse. People don't even know how to think straight anymore because all that's happening is fear, fear, fear all day, every day. The economy is gonna collapse. This is gonna happen. This is gonna go on next. Nothing has even happened yet and there's so much fear. Why? Why is there so much fear? Why is it so dramatic? I think it's time we start thinking about these world issues differently. How quickly we forget who really runs the EU and how the economy is controlled and manipulated at the will of the elite. If the elite want chaos in Britain economically, they will create chaos in Britain economically. And yeah, I said that. I, it has to be said. People need to know how our world really functions. And we gotta stop saying it's negative or unconscious to talk about these things because they're scary and fearful. If we don't know what's really going on in our world, we cannot change it. What Brexit tells us more than anything is that people are fed up with the way their world is being run. They don't like the way the government is controlling their day to day while not caring at all about what the people actually want. So while we hop on the internet going back and forth about who ruined it for one group and who ruined it for another, we miss out on the entire fact that at some point, 17 million people decided to vote for a single solution because the majority of them were probably just fed up like everybody else is. There is a mass shift in consciousness taking place in the world right now. People are feeling inside that something's not quite right with the world and they want something different. The high cost of living, low wages, uncontrollable government, not sure what's gonna happen next. People are feeling the pinch of everything that's happening to them and they're tired of it. They want something different and they will do almost anything to see that happen. Deep down, we know we're capable of a world where the ruling elite is not controlling our everyday move, where we can actually do things we love and express ourselves in ways that we feel are unique to who we are. And while my thoughts on this may seem foreign or different or scary or out there to you, the reality is, if you look at our world today, you can ask yourself a simple question. Do you really like seeing what you're seeing? Is this the world that you want for yourself, for your friends, for your family, for your children? Do you think arguing about meaningless specifics, about who caused what problem for who, and this whole Brexit issue is really what we should be doing while the elite plans their next move during the entire fear-driven chaos that's happening? All I'm suggesting here is we need to start thinking differently about what is going on in our world. If this makes even one person take a step back, take a breath for just one second and think about what's actually happening. Think about what everybody is thinking and how we're all thinking the same thing, that something is not quite right and we all want something different. Then I feel like this has been effective. Brexit is helping the collective consciousness think about what we really want. It's giving us a chance to see how our world really functions and the fact that we all, at a deep level, can relate to one another. Truth is, our consciousness creates reality. So if you want to stay in fear and worry and uncertainty and hatred towards other people, go ahead. That's your choice. But if you choose to do that, you're doing exactly what the elite and the media want you to do. Divide. Be in fear, hate other people, judge other people. Don't unite with them. Don't understand your fellow neighbor. But I think it's time we see past the distractions and start realizing that at the end of the day, we really are all just fed up. Until we can align with each other and start realizing how similar we are, we're never gonna be able to talk about real solutions. It's time for a shift in the way we do things. And it starts with you. It starts with your consciousness. It starts with how you see everybody else around you. We either gotta start uniting as a community and start connecting with who we truly are, or we're gonna stay divided in the fear and the hate that we have towards one another that's being programmed into us. It's our choice. It starts with consciousness.